Domestic air travel is a major issue for people with disabilities. Traveling in the car with all four boys is always a challenge. Traveling in itself is stressful enough. Just getting on and off the airplane uh, is a real challenge. So when I get on one of these aisle chairs, it's a manual process. Not transferring me correctly can actually cause a health issue. So if I were to fly with him, I would have to have a seat in the very, very front of the plane. 98% of the time when I try to book a flight, those seats are already taken. We know that people with disabilities have a unique perspective on, on what we're doing and how we design and implement this train. Our aim is not just to involve them at the beginning to think about the design, but to involve them through the process so that we can be certain that the day we open that system, it will be suitable for all people. All of the people within the ability ranges will have an informed and accessible journey on this system to where they feel like this journey was designed for them. The whole process will be a very different from the airline experience. It's streamlined, it's efficient. It's much smoother, it's much calmer. So not only will we meet ADA requirements, but we will exceed them and set the gold standard for accessibility for mass transportation in the United States. As an entrepreneur, I try to travel this country to grow my business, but I have to limit myself. If my chair is damaged, it takes anywhere from three to six months to get a new chair. This is an opportunity for us to build a system from the ground up that meets the needs of everybody. The idea that I could get my crew on a train and get going, I can't wait to see that happen. The fact that they're actually taking the effort to think about that is incredible. If it's accessible for me or for someone else in a wheelchair, it's gonna be accessible for everybody. All aboard. All aboard. All aboard, Choo Choo. All aboard, Choo Choo.